Now let's take a look at how Citrix adds value to Windows desktops running in Azure. In this case, I've logged into Citrix Workspace on the web client. And with one strong authentication, once again, I have access to all of my applications, SaaS, as well as Windows applications. Uh, and of course, my Windows desktops, and they can be hosted in, in any location, including one I'm going to show you in a minute, just ho hosted in Azure. Of course, there's also file content that is brought in from OneDrive. Let's get right to the virtual desktop. So I'm going to click on this desktop uh, icon that takes me to a Windows desktop uh, that is running in Microsoft Azure. And now it's presented on whatever device I choose, in this case it's a Microsoft Surface, uh, over HDX, which will give me a real rich user experience as local to that virtual desktop. And now I'm inside the virtual desktop, ready to get right to work. Once I gain access to my Windows environment, usually what I want to do is to start working on files. And we bring all these files together inside the environment using our Citrix Files plugin. And these can come from, in this case, Office 365, SharePoint Online, uh, even a local network share. Our connectors can bring those in here as well. I'm going to, I'm going to go on ahead and uh, click on this, this Excel spreadsheet here, and you can see that it opens right up inside of my virtual desktop. Again, using full version of Excel, and it's logged in automatically using my E365 uh, licensing uh, from Microsoft. Now, if I were to go up here and to just click Save to it, it of course will save it back into the same location. Now, let's say, for example, that maybe I want to share that particular document or that spreadsheet off with someone. Once again, integration with, uh, with Microsoft. Uh, I now went right into my Outlook. I'm using Exchange Online. And you can see I've received some emails here. I could open these, save them into uh, my Citrix Files plugin repository that takes me right to OneDrive for Business. What is more interesting here is let's say I need to send an email to someone. Typically, when we want to attach something, we just attach the file. Uh, directly to the email, but that of course creates some concerns and that we really kind of lose track of what happens with the file. And not to mention we're moving around large um, uh, data with the emails and, and increasing our mailbox size. Instead, I'm going to attach files and I can choose either from the PC, the virtual desktop, or from Citrix. I'm going to show you here some of the custom settings I can do. For example, I can require them to enter a name and email address that will notify me every time that this file is accessed and who it was from. Uh, they will get a link within that email and I can set that link to be very short-lived or very long-lived. I'm going to make it for three days. And I can restrict the number of times that the user actually has access to it. Once I've done that, um, actually attaching the file is very easy. I'll go into my OneDrive for Business, click down into here and expand this here and uh, right there is the spreadsheet that I was working on. As you can see here, they receive a link within the email uh, where they can download this particular attachment. Now if I need them to send something back to me, I can actually put a little request here as well. They have a spot where they can request files. So once I hit send, they receive that. Again, uh, keeping track of how the file, is, when the file is accessed and, and uh, and who has access to it. Now, something else that I want to point out, again, this particular virtual desktop is hosted in Azure. In this particular case, it's hosted in Des Moines, Iowa, and I'm getting really good performance with it. I'm actually sitting in the Citrix headquarters at Fort Lauderdale, Florida, as I do this demo. Now, to show you some of the performance that we can pick up, I want to demonstrate for you browser content redirection. I'm going to open a, a different browser here and I'm actually going to uh, refresh this page here and it will take me to a YouTube video. Now you'll notice this green icon here and that's browser content redirection and essentially anytime we have media content you'll notice as I move the screen around uh, the play dock of the media content is actually being redirected off to the endpoint device where it's rendering on the endpoint device. The rest of it, the, the, the menu frame and so on and so forth, that's hosted on your virtual desktop. The reason we do this is because that gives you a great user experience in that particular instance 
so that you can uh, all the you can actually get a good user experience without crippling your virtual hosts. Now, this helps us out with any kind of multimedia content that we might do. And if you look here at this particular case, I'll start a task manager and actually go to the performance tab. And you'll notice that on the virtual desktop, there's hardly any CPU hit at all, even with that running 12% or so. It would be much higher, of course, if we uh, were to deliver this uh, directly uh, from within the local browser. But this is actually being rendered in this case out onto the Surface, um, Surface Pro device that I happen to be using as a client. So there you have it, just some of the ways that Citrix adds value to a desktop hosted in Microsoft Azure. There are many other things, for example, app layering, single instance image management, and so on and so forth. But from a user experience, you can see that everything is tightly integrated from the uh, E365 entitlements for Office, as well as Exchange Online, and oh, by the way, Skype and Teams as well.